Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Risk versus reward with gold. Let's explore. For many of us, the concept of risk with gold just doesn't make any sense. It is considered one of the most stable commodities out there, and it has been recognized as money for thousands of years. For all intents and purposes, most of society does recognize it as a store of value. It's ingrained in our culture, even though a lot of people don't really fully understand the nature of what gold is. But it most certainly is rewarding to have it in your hands to hold it and to be able to know that you have something of value that will never go to zero. So what is it with this risk that comes with reward with gold? Well, we have seen examples of it relatively recently with the markets moving the way they have. We have seen gold fall fairly substantially several times over the past year or so. We've also seen the price spike up to all-time highs in nominal dollars. But there is still some risk involved in holding any asset class. There is no such thing as a, as a foolproof or risk-averse uh, asset class or investment strategy. There's always going to be risk involved in some manner or form. With precious metals, especially gold, recognized for thousands of years by different cultures, societies, epochs, generations, nation states. You know, it's amazing the different forms it takes. Jewelry, coins, bars. There, nonetheless, there are times we may find the risk in buying gold could come to, back to bite you very hard, especially if that gold turns out to be fake or copies, and you think it's genuine. So there's great risk in that regard. That's something to take into account. Make sure that you're buying from a reputable source whenever you purchase. And make sure that you're not paying too low of a price. Usually that which is too good to be true is indeed too good to be true. Nonetheless, gold in its various different forms recognized as money, recognized as a store of value for years and years, is something that does provide us comfort and a sense of reward, especially if we buy the metal at the right time. Of course, as you know, there's different ways to purchase gold. You can buy it in ETF form, you know, electronically, with very little premiums because you're not really buying the physical, you're buying, buying a representation of the physical. And you can also buy mining stocks or you can buy physical and physical gold is probably one of my favorite ways to be able to accumulate this precious metal but there are certainly other ways to be able to get into the markets we've covered that on this channel and be able to accumulate gold in different uh, styles and formats premiums are always a concern when buying and the premiums right now are very high and the prices, really, all things considered, are fairly high, too. So there is that risk that whenever you do purchase gold, well, the price could go up even more or go down. In fact, when it reached its all-time high last summer, well, there was much more potential for it to go down than up from there. But there are different strategies, there's different viewpoints on where the price could go. But whenever you buy any asset class at its all-time high, I believe there's much more risk that the price could drop fairly dramatically. But there are times when the price is very low, such as this paused screen capture of a video that I did talking about not being a transitory stacker, where I purchased this gold coin way back when for obviously considerably cheaper than what it is today. Hmm. I'm tempted. Should I thumb up? Or thumb down this video, my own video. Should I thumb it up or thumb it down? Maybe I'll just leave it alone. I'll let you decide about that video. I'll post a link to it at the end screen of this video. But nonetheless, 
at this particular point in time when I made this purchase, I literally was concerned for the gold that I bought back then. The price wasn't doing a whole lot. 300 and some dollars, is it going to go up much more from here? It's kind of really when I got started into stacking precious metals. I really didn't have much context as to where the price could go. I knew it had been higher before, so when it was down, I was thinking hey, it could continue to go down or stay flat. And for the premium I paid for the coin, was it really worth it? I'll go ahead and take a chance, and I bought the coin. Well, as of 2021, I am reaping the rewards of this coin every time I pull it out to take a look at it. And that is what it is about taking this type of risk. And that leads me to the sponsored portion of this video. We're talking about Blue Lagoon Resources here. And this is a company that I had outlined previously, uh, founded by Raina Vig. And this is a company that is an exploration company and has gotten into the into gold mining, gold exploration mining. They're one of several companies that have featured here on this channel where gold mining is really starting to take off. There's a comeback, I believe, for uh, gold mining. And this is an example of a company who has put its efforts, its own founder has just bought some more shares of the company. And there is an opportunity here for those who are interested in getting in literally on the on the all-time low of the stock price providing the best risk reward in the company's history and the company is with really literally within spitting distance of potentially commencing gold production it's one of the only companies on the planet that are about to produce gold so soon and uh, they have no debt and 90 percent of their property has never been drilled and that is their flagship um, dome mountain gold mine 90 percent has never been drilled and they just began the largest drilling program in company history so they are moving along since the last time i did a feature on blue lagoon resources reina vig took public cura leaf uh, he helped raise 250 million dollars canadian and the biggest raise in Canada at the time ever. And Cura Leaf is a $12 billion company today. So he has a track record of success. And, uh, and you can see there uh, from their corporate presentation that they very well laid out. It talks about uh, their strategy and, uh, and where they are going with the Doe Mountain Gold Mine. They have other properties as well. Reina has raised $300 million uh, for Harvest, which was just acquired by TrueLeave for $2 billion. And again, this Dome Mountain project, um, they could announce production soon and uh, very soon for, the, uh, for, this, for this area. So we'll see how this plays out. Um, there is a lot here. Significant blue line potential here. There's 15 veins identified that have seen very little exploration to date. Additional targets identified based on first ever property wide airborne geophysical survey conducted in the fall of 2020. So they're utilizing a lot of the a lot of technology to be able to assess some of these areas on the property for this big uh, dome mountain gold project. And so that means that with this dome mountain property the risk assessment being so low um, drilling holes could prove to show some very big results uh, in time but nonetheless there it is a dome mountain property and blue lagoon resources here is is something that uh, i think could provide uh, even though there is some risk as is the case with companies like this some very big potential that could come out of this to be able to provide a very large reward in due course. And we have seen success stories with other companies featured here in this in this regard. And this is this is one where timing is everything um, in the time of exploration of these companies, because typically what happens is they is they uh, they go in, they find their results, their stock price goes up, and then and then there's there's a, and then that opportunity has passed and has gone. Uh, so this is 
one of those areas where it does take some research, um, looking into due diligence, they call it. And this is one of those examples where, and, and you can see some of their other areas and projects too that they're working on. And But it's always good to look at the business plan, look at their strategy, um, ask questions. Uh, their website I will post in the description below. But uh, I always encourage folks, before you make any purchases of stocks or any kind of uh, investment, to look at the company and do your own due diligence. I'm giving you an overview here, but uh, it is certainly something to consider. And look at what Raina Vig has been able to do with his previous projects. And I think there's some opportunities here. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And gold, in many different ways, there is a risk versus reward everywhere from physical gold, even the time of when you purchase it, to things like uh, a company that is getting into the exploration of a gold mine. I'd ex like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.